I'm your little rainbows, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a GFX for beginners. I have done this tutorial in the past, but it is 2021 and I thought I'd make an updated version for you all. If you don't know what a GFX is, it's basically this right over here and you can create your own poses. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make one. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Roblox and uh, you can just go to the website. You're going to click create at the top and right here you're just going to click create new experience and experience just means game by the way and then you're just going to click open roblox studio next you should be in roblox studio and if you have used it before this will most likely pop up but all you have to do is click ignore next you're going to want to click the classic base plate this is what it should look like, but you might not have the exact same tabs out as me. So if you do have tabs, just press the X's on them for now. And we're going to go up to view and click explore properties in toolbox to get all the tabs in case you did not have them. Basically, the first step is add importing your character into Roblox Studio. What you're going to want to do is head to the toolbox, click on models, and then change it to plugins. And the plugin that you're going to want to get is the load character light plugin, which is the one right here. If you don't have it, all you have to do is search it up. And it is right here. There is a Robux one, but don't buy that. You can get the free one over here. It should say install, but I already have it. So it says installed for me. Next, you're going to go up to the top where it says plugins and you're gonna click on load character. You're gonna double click and then press sweet and then you're just going to type in your Roblox username or whatever Roblox username that you want to put into your GFX. This is my Roblox username, so I'm gonna be importing my character. Make sure spawn our origin has a little X on it. If it doesn't, all you have to do is click the little box and then press on R6. Don't click R15 because the textures will not work. So just click spawn R6. And now you have your character. I forgot to mention, if you do not know how to move in Roblox Studio, all you have to do is press W, A, S, and D. And you can right click and hold and drag around to change your position. I don't really like the face that I have on my character. So I'm just going to be changing it to super, super happy face. I'm not going to be explaining it in this video, but I do have a tutorial on how to do that. So if you ever want to learn how to do that, you can watch that video, which will be linked in the description and in the little eye in the corner. So now that I have my character already and prepped, I am going to go back to the toolbox and we're going to get a room model. If you do not know what a room model is, it's basically just a background for your GFX. So we're going to change plugins back to models and you can search for whatever room model you want. So you can just search for aesthetic room or something. And there are a bunch of options. However, you can search for a specific room model creator. For example, I'm going to import one of my room models. So I'm going to click these little three lines and then you just search for a room model creator. So you just search for the username. So I'll search for mine and then you're going to click their little profile, click apply, and then it'll show all of the room models that that creator has made. So I'm going to just be importing my pastel pet shop which is honestly one of my favorite room models that I've made. And if it spawns above your character, all you have to do is click the room model and you're free to drag it wherever you want to. Now, don't worry if you don't know any room model creators. I also have a video on that. So if you want some tips for aesthetic room models for your GFX, you can watch that as well. And the same thing goes for props. So for example, if you want like um, maybe a lollipop in your GFX, all you have to do is search for that and it should pop up here and everything here is completely free to use but i'm not going to be using a prop for my gfx so i'm just going to leave it like that next you're going to get ready to export it to export everything so you're going to click on your character and you're going to go up to the explorer tab right over here and you're going to right click on your username then press export selection and next i'm just going to be saving it to my desktop so next you're just going to save type in a name so i'm just going to type in rainbow and then just press save and you're going to do the exact same thing for the room model and then when you are done all you have to do is press the little x in the corner and then press no and you will be out of 
Roblox Studio. So next, we're going to be downloading Blender and the Woman Rig, which is what you use to make a GFX. Blender is the main program that you use to make a GFX. So this is the link that will be in the description, and this is going to have a list of Blender downloads. So there are different types of Blender downloads for different computers. So if you have a MacBook, you're going to press this Blender link right here. And if you have a Windows 32, you're going to click on this one. And if you have a Windows 64, you're going to click on this one. And if you are still having trouble with downloading Blender, then um, I'll leave a tutorial in the description for that. I already have Blender downloaded, so I'm not going to press anything. Next, you're gonna need the woman rig, which is right over here. The link for this is also in the description, and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is press download right over here. Next, you're going to open up Blender. This is what Blender will look like when you first open it, and it's not going to completely look like this because mine is pink and yours will probably be like a gray and black theme. This is because I have customized my Blender theme, but don't worry, all the controls are completely the same, it's just the colors that are different. So this is going to pop up. To get rid of this little like front tab, all you have to do is click anywhere to get rid of it. You're then going to click File, Open and you're gonna find your rig. So I have a folder with all my rigs. So I have my woman rig right here. You're then gonna press rig and then default blend. And then press open blender file at the top. And next you have your rig. To move in blender, you're just gonna press shift and F and you just move your mouse around to look in different places. And you're gonna use the same keys in Roblox Studio. You can press W, A, S, and D to move around. And you can also press shift and the key that you're using to go faster. I'm gonna position myself right here in front of the head. And to just get out of moving mode, you just have to click the screen. Next, we're going to be deleting the head. So you're going to press the head up top you by right clicking and then you're going to press x on your keyboard and then delete and you're going to do the exact same thing for the eyes teeth and tongue now that that's all done we are going to import the texture and clothes onto the character so you're going to right click on the torso or any of the body parts and you're going to go up to the top and you're going to go until it makes a plus button you're going to click and drag down and now you have two different screens you're then going to click the cube in the middle and then press node editor and then you're going to zoom in with your mouse and you're going to go all the way up to image texture then just press the folder icon and you're going to go to your desktop and you're going to find your texture so it should say your username one text and there could be multiple versions of the texture so for me i have two versions if that is the case and you do have two versions always click the last one because that is going to be the right texture so you're then going to press open image and now i have my clothes on my character so next we're going to go back over here where the plus button forms and you're going to click and drag up and then we get rid of the second screen so next we're going to be importing the head so you're going to click on file import and then wait front.obj you're going to make sure you're on your desktop and then click on your character.obj then you're going to press import obj and your character should be in the under and this is what it's going to look like there's going to be like two arms like two legs and one torso so i'm going to position myself where the head is facing you're going to press the torso and then just delete that again you can delete it by pressing x and then pressing delete and I'm just gonna repeat for the arms and legs as well. And you can also delete any other accessories that you don't want. So I don't want these hearts, so I'm just gonna delete them. So once you have everything, your head is gonna be backwards. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just going to be clicking on, right-clicking on my head. Then I'm gonna press shift and right-click on the other head accessories. You're gonna go up to this tab over here, click on tools and then press join. Then you're going to go to this rotation tab, press Z and change it to 180. And it is going to rotate. You can do the exact same thing if you have any other accessories that are in different locations. And sometimes I like to be a little bit more precise. So I like to position them a bit more evenly. For example, I want to move this a bit more that way. So in order to do this, you're going to click on the object that you want to move, then press set origin and then press origin to geometry. And then you have these little arrows on your object and you're i'm just going to press the green arrow and move it backwards 
That way it is more formally fitted on my avatar. Now we're going to be importing our room model. So to do this, you're going to click on file, import wavefront.obj, and I'm going to click on my pet shop and then press import obj. I'm just going to quickly figure out where I want to place my character. I think I want to position my character inside of the bubble bath, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. First, to move my character into the room, I'm going to press on one of these circles, rectangles, and like squiggly lines around the body. And you're going to press shift and right click and select on the head and any other accessories that you have. And you're just going to move the accessories into the room model. And right now, I'm just going to position them right over here beside of the bobo bath. So now I'm going to get to into the exciting part, which is posing. So if you click on any one of these circles and little rectangles and squiggly parts around the avatar, if you go to the bottom and click on the little um, curved line, then you will get these rotation parts. Then after you can use the parts and you can drag the limbs up and down and side to side and basically any way you want them to. So you're just going to want to fool around until you get a pose that you like. I'm going to be speeding this process up. I ended up deciding to place my character on this thing right over here. So now we're going to get into like the little settings and the tiny details part. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press shift and A and then press camera right here. Then you're going to press view at the bottom and then camera. And you're going to be in this little camera view. You're going to press shift and F and you're going to move the camera anywhere that you want to. Now, I don't want my GFX to be in a rectangular format, so instead I want it to be in a square format. So what I'm gonna do is go to click the little camera icon right over here at the side, then where it says resolution, you're gonna type 1080. And if you just wanted a rectangular format, you could have used the original format that was already provided. I'm just going to position it right here. Next, what we're going to do is see what this GFX is going to look like rendered. So in order to do that, you're going to click on the red or white ball right here and then click on rendered. And as you can see, it's pretty dark and don't worry, like this little graininess is normal, but it will go away in the rendering process. I just don't like that it's pretty dark. So in order to fix that, all you have to do is go to the side and press the globe icon and then press ambience occlusion. It is going to brighten up the entire GFX. There will be a couple grains in the rendering process, so in order to fix that, you're going to click on this little paper icon and then press denoising. When you render, it will get rid of all of the green. I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of finishing touches and I will see you when I am done. So once you are finished, you're going to click on render at the top and then press on render image. And it will take a while to, to render, and I will let you know when the rendering process is finished. When it is finished rendering, and you'll notice then when the bar at the top is gone, you're going to press image at the bottom, then press save as image. I'm going to save it right over here because this is where I keep all of my raw GFXs, aka unedited ones. So you're just going to go to the top and then name it. So I'm just going to be calling it tutorial PNG. And then after just press save as image. 
and you're done. If you want to learn how to edit your GFX Ecomod this tutorial right over here. That is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that this helped you in some way or another. And I'll see you all in the next video. XOXO Rainbow. Hey,